Brabham's Gordon Murray designed a radical fan car for Lauda and Watson. The team described it as a cooling unit, but others quickly dubbed it a vacuum cleaner. Most felt it tried to do mechanically what the 79 did aerodynamically, glue the car to the pavement. The innovation met with puzzlement and protest. Until it had been raced, no one was certain what to think of it. Well, we generate something like 90% of our total download at the extremities of the car, that is the front and rear wing. And they get probably about 50 or 60% of their download between the wheelbase with their wing or venturi section. Um, and the rest of it on the normal wings. That's the main difference. The start was again dominated by Andretti, running away from the grid with Lauda in tow. The black and red duo surged ahead of the crowd, both philosophies of ground effect proving superior to the conventional cars. The man in the black car with the gold number five was looking more probable for the world championship, only the second American ever to capture it. But the reigning champion was right behind him, with the fan ticking away smoothly. Andretti stayed clear of Lauda until the middle laps. Then the champion simply powered by, and his rolling controversy took the lead. The Austrian passed his first checkered flag of the year and the familiar taste of success. But the champagne lost its fizz when the fan was later outlawed. The fan car, the BT46B, um, was, was born out of necessity, really, because at that time we were using Alfa Romeo Grand Prix engines, a boxer, a horizontally opposed engine, a flat engine, so it was very wide. Further to that, Chapman invented uh, ground effect, or discovered ground effect, and that required the side venturis on the car, and the th right where you needed the space, we had a flat 12 engine. And I said to Bernie, we're dead in the water because we've, we've got a wide engine, we cannot have venturis down the side of the car, and uh, by the end of the year, everybody will have ground effect and we're going to be left behind. How else can we make downforce equivalent to the Lotus with a wide engine. And fortunately for us, there was a loophole in the aerodynamic regulations. The idea was stick a fan on the car to cool the car, make sure that 55% of the fan's energy was cooling the car. 45% went to sucking it down to the ground. Chapman came on the phone. I was at home. He was in Sweden for the Swedish Grand Prix. And he said, Peter, we're in terrible trouble because Brabham had just produced the fan car. And they sandbagged the first day of practice and things. But when it came to qualifying, they actually unleashed the performance of the car. I had no idea it would be so fast. I mean, it was embarrassingly fast. Uh, Bernie even made the guys qualify on full tanks for the Swedish Grand Prix to try and slow them down. I think Nicky still qualified on the front row. You know, we're in deep trouble. They produced a car that can beat the 79 and could take a championship off us. And we started, he said, go, he said, right, you know, we've got to work out how to do a fan car. At the same time, we've got to try and get it banned. He had the championship in the bag, and you could see this, you could see this car just disappearing into the night and taking his championship away. So he got Andretti to go around to the other drivers, try and lobby people and say, oh, it's really dangerous, you know, I've been behind the car and it throws stones at the, you know, it's such a high-speed uh, blast of air out the back, it picks up everything and throws it out the back. And, and in actual fact, there's no way it could throw stones because the fan efflux was only 55 miles an hour. And anything heavier than a grain of sand that hit the fan got shot out sideways and not backwards because of the centrifugal force. I mean, is it just a case of the interpretation of the regulations? You know, we, Gordon thought he'd build a car which complied with the regulations, and probably did. And as soon as it's competitive, people think it doesn't comply with the regulations. It was right at the time where Bernie was trying to build up Formula One and the Formula One Constructors Association was quite new and the other constructors put a lot of pressure on Bernie not to race the car. The car was never banned according to the rules. We could have raced it if it hadn't been for the constructors problem. We could have raced the fan car for the rest of that year and won the championship, I mean, easy. We, I mean, we could have, I mean, when, when Lauda passed Andretti and the Lotus, he passed them around the outside. It was embarrassingly quick. I think it's a fantastic car, the one that Gordon did. I think it was illegal, but uh, you know, that's where we differ. There is so much misinformation about the fan car. I'm going to write a book on it one day.
Sweden 78 will be forever remembered as the race that got a car banned. Bernie Ecclestone's Brabham team had introduced the new BT46. Nobody remembers the type mark, they just remember its immediate nickname, the fan car. The Gordon Murray designed fan car sucked air out from underneath the machine to give it increased downforce. Brabham hadn't yet caught up with the full intricacies of a wing car. Andretti claimed pole in the 79, but the two fan cars separated him and Peterson, the Swede making another slow start on his home track. Right from the beginning, the battle was joined between Andretti and Lauda in the front-running fan car. The fan car was Brabham's answer to the wing technology of the Lotus 79. The idea from the fan car may well have come from an early 70s Chaparral Can-Am machine, but that was banned. The fan car was already racing in Sweden under protest when Lauda took the lead from Andretti. Lotus and McLaren had not been slow to complain about the moving aerodynamic device on the Brabham. It would be academic for Andretti, whose engine let him down, but not for Lauda, who claimed victory in the Swedish Grand Prix. Six days later, though, the car was banned for good. One race, one win, the Brabham fan car.